and it's kind of dark out here now but um, these are actually plants from last year that I just kept in uh, kept in five gallon buckets like that kept them alive through the winter and those are both chocolate bootla and then there's one in there that's some sort of yellow ghost pepper and then I don't remember what the other one was but most of these I don't remember what they were I just kept them alive through winter in the garage under lights so it's hot pepper roulette this year other than these two and the one there that shows up yellow one of the other things that I do aside from messing with chainsaws and small motors is I grow plants uh, mainly hot 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 peppers um, like these pretty much laugh at a ghost pepper um, so I'll just do a short video of starting some seeds for y'all and then show you some of what I got in the garden right now it's currently like the end of April about to go into May so seeds that get started now will probably produce in like late August mid-september depending on when they germinate um, I live in Texas and in the area where I live when I grew peppers last year I was still picking peppers in December because it it was that hot for that long and we you know we didn't get a freeze until Christmas so I'm not worried about starting these late because the grow season runs super long over here. All I'm using is these little Pro Hex kit. You pick them up at Walmart. They're like eight or nine bucks, I think. And it's got 72 cells in it, so you can get a bunch of seeds started. And I'll get this set up here. Some of these are from stuff I grew last year. Uh, last year I ordered all my seeds from Pepper Joe's. And I wanted to grow hot peppers. Which let me do that. But I had no idea what I was growing because pretty much all the stuff come up looking different than the pictures uh, other than you know very few I mean some of them weren't even right color uh, you know it said it was red and come up yellow and it's not like you know you had one oddball on a plant that come up yellow it was all of them on the plant come up yellow Now, I wasn't too upset about that because I just wanted to grow hot peppers, like just something stupid hot. But what was kind of annoying is the yellow ones that I liked, I have no idea what they are. So I just had to save them from, uh, I mean, I just had to save them from last year and you know, honestly, if I wanted to purchase them again, I have no clue how to do that because they were mislabeled and I didn't remember which package they sprouted from. And these are all pretty much uh, capsicum chinins varieties. And you can see here in these you know, I just get the seed about surface level with the soil it's not if you put them in there deep they usually don't germinate um, I mean you pretty much want to be able to see that seed if you stick it in the dirt and I'm just gonna repeat that for 
all of these other ones. I got these hot yellow ones, which are the ones that I have no idea what they are. Um, I had some Komodo variants that came up wrinkled on a plant, and I saved some of those, so I'm going to plant them again. Um, see if that gene shows itself again These in these plants. Seven Pop Primos and Chocolate Reapers. This is one I just let dry out in my garage. You can see there's a little bit of mold inside of there, but most of the seeds are untouched. So I don't know if that'll affect germination rate, but we're going to see it. I mean, when you open up the the shell on this, like, you can still, still smell that it's hot, like it burns your nose a little bit. Got this tray done. Left a couple rows empty, but... Everything's got seed in there. Um, last year, it took, you know, roughly 10 to 30 days for most of these to germinate. So we'll see what they take, uh, what goes on last year. This isn't any special pot, uh, any special seed starter or anything. It's just, I think it's just uh, miracle Grow moisture control. It's the blue bag. It, at the Walmarts, um, it holds moisture pretty well, and I think that's something that these seeds need while they germinate. From then on, uh, from here, I just monitor the soil. If it looks dry, I mist it with water, and just do that till the seeds uh, pop up.